let me explain what's going on so that everybody can kind of understand. And then I'm, I would like everybody to mute yourself right now. You have a mute button on your computer that's on the team. I'm going to unmute you and allow you, hopefully, you'll ask questions that everybody else that's on here would like to ask but can't. <laughs> and I will try to keep going back to their um, screen. And uh, it's hard to do because I'm on a separate um, computer. And I tried to do it on one. It wasn't working. So, all right, here we go. Um, we're going to talk about, um, <clears throat> for just a little bit, we've got a lot of properties right now that we're looking at all across the United States. Um, the hurricane has come through Florida and South Carolina and Georgia and made some mass destruction. We are looking for properties that are hurt, that are damaged. Uh, we drove through St. Augustine today. We drove through Jacksonville, all downtown Jacksonville. We drove through uh, Cocoa Beach, Florida, all different places. I've talked to so many people, my voice is literally raw. We have been on the phone from the time we left the house at five o'clock this morning until now. Um, just going through and and uh, trying to set up meetings and get things, uh, looking at buildings and seeing what was for sale. So let, let me give you an idea of what we're doing. We have two groups right now we're working with to raise. Uh, one is 150 million, the other one is 74 million. Um, we're going into these areas where buildings are rough or destroyed or hurt. And we're going in and offer them less money than what the building is worth and to assume their insurance. Uh, and how we're doing this is because we have a company, um, most of you don't know, called ARC Contracting, um, ARC. We have a company called ARC that we can go into these buildings and just tell them that we do roofing and that we can clean up the building or work with the um, insurance companies to try to help them to get the roof fixed. If you fix a roof first, then you can do everything else. But what that gives us an opportunity is to go in and negotiate on all the repairs. So we just looked at a hotel today in um, Daytona Beach. The roof was tore off in a lot of places. It had leaked down through two floors. So those two floors are highly damaged. Um, we can go in there and buy that thing at 70% of value, let's say. Whatever their deductible is, and some of these it's 20%, so let's say it's a, uh, a $10 million building, it's now worth valued at $8, $8 million. Here's the, here's the thing. We can probably negotiate about $4 million in repairs, but only cost us about $2 million to do them. So not only do we now buy a $10 million building cheaper, but we get $4, $4 million to fix it up and we profit $2 million just to hold the building. And then we turn around and sell the building or use the building, depending on what it is. So we're looking for multiple things. We're looking for things we can use for assisted living, simply because in Florida right now, that's what we'd like to have in multiple areas. Uh, we have meetings tomorrow morning with more uh, people that are working with on the money side. We'll have a lot more answers and speed of what we can do tomorrow. Um, so uh, I'm in Orlando, Florida tonight, I'm meeting with uh, multiple uh, huge, large investors. <clears throat> we won't get a lot of the pie. So let's say it's a $10 million building. We're probably only going to end up with a million dollars worth of value. Of that million dollars, though, 80%, that's 200000 And if we get 200000 um, you guys would get what we're doing right now is going to be 6%. So 6 times 2 is 12. You're going to get twelve grand. If you find the deal, put it together, and go through, you'd get $12,000. And I know it's less than what you'd normally get, but the reason we're doing that is we're having to give up all the money and do all the work. It's a little different. We're not really going to end the long run. We're going to own this probably. It's called a simultaneous close. So we'll probably own this for just a short period of time and then um, go ahead and, and cash out the opportunity to sell them or the opportunity to keep them, depending on what they are, how their cash flow totally fix back up. It's a great time right now because banks understand how slow St. Augustine, Cocoa Beach, um, um, certain parts of uh, everywhere that there is tourism is a huge plus for us. And so that's what we're looking for is those buildings. So I'm going to go through and kind of show you how to do it because of 
It's not something we normally do. And you're going to have to take down some notes. So everybody needs to get a pen and paper. And uh, uh, I, I appreciate everybody chatting. I can't, I can't chat with you right now. Uh, I'll try, hopefully by the time I'm done, I've answered all your questions. And then um, once I've answered that, you know, um, hopefully you have all the information you need. And then we'll have, I'm going to have my team be able to ask questions. And you can type in your questions if you want to. So we'll try to, try to make that work. Um, if at all possible, we'll try to make that happen for everybody. If you guys will just hang, hang on a little bit for that, uh, I would appreciate it. So um, the idea is, is to find these properties, call and get information, find out if there's damage, and then uh, get that information to us. Uh, there's going to be ways to, to, for you to send it and, and what to get. Then we may have multiple questions to send back to you. You've got to call and try to get the answers to. Um, but we're just going to try to do it simply. So here's, I want to give you some ideas of where to go. Florida has damage almost everywhere from, well, a little bit in Jacksonville, but from St. Augustine on down, there's, floor, there's damage almost all the way across. We drove across uh, Interstate 4. We also drove across back all the way over to, uh, from Orlando over to Cocoa Beach and back, uh, two different directions. There's damage everywhere. It gets even worse as you go south and south um, west, um, all the way down, of course, to the Keys. We're not interested in anything in the Keys right now at all, simply because we cannot finance it uh, because of insurance. So just so everybody knows, we don't have that, uh, that uh, ability to finance out uh, because of insurance. Um, but outside of the Keys, we can do just about uh, anywhere. So there's damage everywhere. Let me, where can you find the damage? So I'm going to have this one up right now. It's called Florida Today, but there's newspapers all over. There is, are, are TV stations all over. And so there's plenty of places where you can go and, and find the damage and see what's hardest hit. So I just picked an area and, uh, I, I, let me go back here and show you what I put in. First thing I put in was hurricane damage in, uh, I think Cocoa Beach. Hold on one second. Let me. Pull this up here. So destruction, Cocoa Beach, Florida, or you can put Irma, Irma, and now you want some news thing that you can see. Uh, so here's Cocoa Beach, the Sea Air Hotel. It's pretty well destroyed. I'm not saying that's the property I want to buy. I'm just showing you what's going on all, all over Florida. I hope you guys can see it. Okay. So now I know that I would want to find out where that is. I would just simply go to Cocoa Beach and uh, I want to see the maps. Let's see if it comes up here. Take a second. All right, now I'm in Cocoa Beach. Now I want to find uh, that. I would I would simply go and, and look in Google, regular Google, and just type in the name of, of what that was. Let me go back. Um, Cocoa Beach Sea Air Motel. But, there, but you can see there's all of them, photos. And I'm looking for hotels, buildings that are in these photos that have the roof blown off, and it'll be in newspapers, it'll be in all kinds of things in Florida you're gonna have to search. Then when you find them, so it'd be uh, Cocoa Beach C, I can't even spell that air like that, A-I-R-E. Okay, so I'll bring this over and I close that out and I go. I've already forgot what it was. That's how, that's how slow my mind is right there, I'm gonna tell you right now. Sea air. There it is. So I'm going to find that because I found it on the thing. I'm going to click on it. Now I'm going to be able to get all the information I need, hopefully, that they have forwarded the information somewhere. If you go down here, here's the address. Here's the website. Here's the phone number. I'm going to call that phone number and try to get a hold of somebody and find out because they probably got it forwarded somewhere. 
and find out uh, the manager's name or how can I talk to the owner? Um, do they have insurance? Are they, are they wanting somebody to work with the insurance company on roofing? That's what we do. Um, we're taking that in to try to get to the, uh, through ARC, we're trying to, um, and I'll put the information up here in a little bit, um, trying to get in that information so that they will give us an opportunity to call. And then you can give my phone number, tell them it's Gary DeBose, and they can contact me, Gary at ARC. Here, I'll, I'll show you here in a minute. ARC Contracting, um, I'll type it out for you. That's way, so now what we're doing is we're trying to get in like we could come in and repair. But that gets us the information we need to get the owners. So it's kind of a, an inside deal to, to, to get to the owners. And that's the plan. Now you can go through, after you do, or even if you don't do that, I can go through here and find properties that have, uh, we're looking for something that's a little bit larger properties, but, but that's it. Now here's what I want to do. I'm going to shrink this now, and I want, to, I want to put another search in. Well, I'd like to shrink it. And I'm going to go over to a little bit of the town here, and now I want, I want to look for something different. So I just want to go over here and put... Somebody's not muted that's on the team. I would appreciate if you guys would mute so I don't have to go back over and, and check you. Um, I can hear you and I don't want to, I fixed it. Okay. Um, so now I want apart apartment complexes and I want to see where they are. And here's what we're looking for. We're looking for fairly large complexes. Um, and I want to find out, do they have damage? So I'm looking at the complex that's actually fairly small. I would like to get like uh, 25 buildings 20 buildings or more. So you just kind of got to go through and look. And I'm just doing one little bitty town. This is a small, small town here. All right. So this one, this one has quite a bit more, it looks like, buildings. Now that's what we're looking for. Is this tore up? I would want to contact them. So I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to get their information same way we did before. I'm just going to slide down and get their information. I'm going to steal a couple of pictures and then send them so we can kind of see what roof it has. So when we do talk to them, I have a little bit of information about, about what it is. And um, let me see if I can find their phone number and address and stuff. So that is 250 North Banana River Drive, Merritt Island, Florida, 321-452-1797. I call them tomorrow. It opens at 9.30 a.m. and I say, hi, my name is, so I'm going to pick somebody, uh, Lenny. And, uh, um, I, you know, I'm calling to see if you guys have, a damage from the hurricane. If you do, what we do is roofing. We're with Art Contracting, and I'll give you all that information. Uh, I'll, let me just go ahead and pull it up so you guys can be looking at it. So I've got everything I need right now to, to get a hold of them and try to get the, the who would we talk to, who would we speak with, who's the manager that we'd speak to about, um, you know, doing your roof and then, you know, getting, getting some of your stuff fixed back. We deal with the insurance companies. We try to save you some money and, and work together as a team uh, to try to get you more for, you know, what – what negotiations need to be done. A lot of times these insurance companies are trying to skate by and try to try to help. And how can we help you? All you're trying to do is get me the information. If they say, well, I can't, I can't do anything except give you our, you know, our, our management or here's my manager's name, uh, then get that information and then turn that information over to me. But I need information like this where I don't know if how many people have it, but I use snippet. Uh, it's on most uh, laptops. So I just want this information right here. I just come over and I copy it, and now I've got it. I save that as a picture and then send that to me uh, in an email. And in the email itself, write it all out. But this way I have, I know I've got everything right by looking at the, the picture. Then the next step is, like I said, to give me a picture like this where I can now, let me move this over. I can now get an idea of what kind of roof it is. Same thing. I just snip it. Take the portion of, oh, stop it. New, take the portion of what I want so that I can see what kind of building it is. Save that and also stick that picture in email. What that does is give me the ability to see what we're needing when we talk to them. Look, these people got tarps on them already. I don't know what the deal is with that. But 
somebody has just posted that picture recently, probably. Um, and that that's what I want to do. Every every type of building that we come across, I want to know what it is. So I've done the same thing. 211 Caroline Street. And that's not just here. This is one town. And, uh, and there's probably, um, the smaller I go, hold on a second here. I know this is not a normal search, search and what we've normally done. This is just Cocoa Beach. And look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's a tiny community. Now, that goes all over, or if I do it to Orlando, um, that's going to completely uh, change what we have. All right, so let's do Sun Lake Apartments. Anywhere in Florida, I don't care where you're at in Florida, I prefer Orlando, from Orlando up to the middle of the, uh, of the peninsula, a crossover, but, it, but anywhere you get us information, if we get the job, then you get a 6% cut of what the, the profit is. I, I think that could be huge uh, for some of you who've been wanting to make, make some money that you get right away. These jobs usually go and pay within about three to six months, everything's done, three to six months. So if you're looking to make some cash, this is a really good way to sell some, some deals and find out about them. Um, so here's, now we can see what kind of roofs they have. All you gotta do is call them and find out what, what kind of problems they have. And, and I, listen, we went to some today, I don't have any pictures on here, but we went to some today that are absolutely just destroyed. And the closer you get, by the way, the more you'll find more apartments or different things, townhomes, villas, but Anything in Orlando that you can get information on that they've got damage and then send down. Now, let me go to. Um, this is our inroad. So what we're trying to do is some of these we'd like to turn into what's called um, uh, independent living. Independent living is this is our information here and my my um email is g debose gay b uh, g and then debose is d-u-b-o-s-e at artcontracting.com so you can see the website right there it's gay uh, i'm sorry g debose at artcontracting.com you can have them contact me there or uh they can they can call directly right off of the uh, the website you can get the information right yes thank you jody uh, you can get the information right off the website. That is our inroad to be able to get into some of these properties that normally we wouldn't be able to talk to anybody about it. They wouldn't give us any information. But some of these guys can't find roofers right here in Florida that they can't make this happen, and they're needing some help. So all we got to do is give them our information. You can go to this page, save this page, and take it down, and uh, you know, go from there. Uh, they can see who we are, see what we do. What that does then is allow us on my side to go in and buy the building. We might start to renovate, and during the renovation, it gives us a chance to start negotiations with the owner. Tomorrow, uh, we, we just met two days ago and yesterday. Tomorrow, we're meeting for another $74 million. We're trying to raise a little over $200 million, $150 million with uh, one guy, $50 million, uh, $74 million with another group, and another group that I met with uh, last week in. Um, uh, up in uh, Atlanta that we would like to try to get about another 12 to 15 million uh, with. And what we're trying to do is buy these properties, hold on to them, fix them up, renovate them back, turn around and sell them and or run them. It won't be us. Like I said, it's going to be these groups that bring the money. They're going to get 70, 80, 90% of the deal, uh, but our cut is large enough that everybody can make some money. It's all works on one straight percentage. What our profit is, you would get 6%. So out of our profit, some of you that might be a two thousand dollar hit, that might be a ten thousand dollar hit, that might be on a large complex could be a thirty thousand dollar hit. So it's just an opportunity for my team and people that are here from Facebook too uh, to work with us and do something that's a little outside the norm. Uh, and I can try to help with all those things. All right. So the search is pretty simple. You're going to go around and try to find the, the the search from just Google Maps. You're going to type in something. So this is a something that I found today and I have pictures of this building with all the roof on this side covered with tarps. So all of this half over here is covered with tarps. Now I wouldn't want to do just that building, but because we have six other buildings around this building, now we want to do that building. 
So when you bring it to us, it may not be something we use or don't do. Everybody will be given your name with the deal, and it'll follow all the way through with our contracting, or it'll follow all the way through with, with uh, um, Global. And, and I think it'll make a big difference with Leverage Global if you get in and get on these deals, especially if it's a long-term pay, then you get 6% of a profit if we keep it 10, 20 years. You get short-term pay if we flip it and turn it around and go. Uh, however that works and whatever our long-term or short-term profit is, that's what you get. You get a percentage. All right. Now let me ask you, everybody stay muted unless you're going to speak, please. Uh, but has anybody got any questions? Let me try to answer your questions. You can unmute yourself if you got a question. Otherwise, please stay muted so we don't listen to your, your background noise. Anyone? I do. Okay. This is Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Go ahead. Um, okay. How are you going to keep us from, like, three or four of us calling the same place? Um, I, I, I don't really think that's going to be a, a problem because there's so many places and so few people. Um, if, if you do call and somebody says, well, we've talked to somebody from our contracting because we already have multiple contracts already, then you're just going to, that, that would be why. But, um, mm -hmm. that's going to happen. It, it can happen. It, it, it sent in once and then sent in again. I'll immediately send you back an email saying that property's already been sent. So that's the okay. only way we really can keep it straight because giving out areas is not, there's, there's so many areas from, St. Augustine, Deltona, Daytona, Cocoa Beach, or uh, Ormond Beach. Um, I mean, you go all the way up and down the coast, all the way down to Miami, all the way across to Cape Coral, all over Orlando and back up. I don't think that's really going to be a, a huge problem. But if, if okay. it does happen to happen, then I would do it. But I would call and look at every single property of the opportunity that it's got some kind of damage. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. You back. By the way, that lady has made, I bet she's made nine offers in the last day. She's went nuts or something wrong with her. Okay. Um, somebody else, you got a question? Unmute, you have to unmute yourself or you can type one in. There, good question. There is not a limit on what we can do, and here's why. The money we have can buy in cash, but they also can finance. So if we go out and get a financing on a, a what's called a quick finance on a building, they might go to a secondary a person, put down $3 million and finance a $10 million building. So it really would only cost us uh, maybe $3 million on it, and then we would borrow someone else's money for the difference. I don't know if that makes sense. So yes, it, it's not buying just $150 million of the property, but it's what we can leverage, how, how we can leverage it. Someone else. You can type them in or you can ask a question. Unmute and ask a question. I don't want you to call me tomorrow or the next day while we're doing all this stuff and I'm trying to get this done. I want you to ask these questions now. Uh, if, if you've got a question, let's ask them. Please ask them now. And maybe you don't know what to ask. Did everybody get to see how we find the property? If you didn't, speak up now so I go through it one more time. I don't want to miss out. Um, hey, Gary, can you go through it one more time? I was toggling okay. in the between that time. Can you can you go through it again? Because I was toggling and I didn't get the whole information written down. Okay, great. What is the prime areas again that you're looking for? Um, right now, we're trying to concentrate on Florida because it's the most damage. Um, and it's going to be above the, above, I would say North Miami all the way up to, um, remember everybody, once you talk, mute yourself, all the way up to the north. Um, to, to St. Augustine. Above St. Augustine, there wasn't that much damage in Jacksonville, but there was damage. So uh, we'll, we'll kind of go, go through it a little more. All right, let me, um, I'm going to go through this one more time on how to find a property. So we, we go in, uh, and depends on what you're looking for. Let me go to, um, let me change this. This time I'll go to, let's see, Deltona Beach. I don't know. Did I not spell that right? Oh, I did. Okay. So um, now I'm on, I'm on Deltona. I want to find out if there is either um, hotels or large buildings um, or complexes. 
So we're looking for complexes. I'm trying to go over to the ocean over here. A little bit further. There we go. What oh. menu is this you're in, Gary? What, what map just, is this? It's you're just looking... Google, Google Maps. Just Google Maps? Google Maps, yep. So now, like here's Ormond Beach, Port Orange, Daytona, Palm Coast, St. Augustine. Uh, there, there's plenty of them. And all I'm looking for is I'm looking for commercial buildings. So I'm just going to slide down here. So I see some commercial buildings. There's not a lot until I get into town here. Okay, so Ormond Beach has a lot. Here's quite a bit of commercial buildings here. I'm just going to try to get in there so I can see what they are. A lot of them will usually tell you, even tell you what that exact business is sometimes. See that gave me the address? So you're just trying to find buildings that are damaged, that are that are larger type buildings that have a larger roof. You're not looking for little bitty stuff, but you're looking for condos, <clears throat> different types of buildings like that. Um, so let me go to Daytona here. Okay, so I'm going to get right down here on Daytona Beach where we were today. And let's see now. Now I went in probably too close. <laughs> Are you looking at a street view? What kind of view is this? No, it's, uh, it is. Uh, if you guys don't know about maps, it take a minute to go over maps on Google Maps and learn. This is the. Um, you, you can go to street view. This is a regular map, but this is satellite view. So. Okay, so here's the Ocean Breeze Club Hotel. So let's let's go and see what that looks like. And actually, that is one on my list, so I can kind of go in and show you. Um, I can get all the information on it that I need just by. Oh, let me go back. I apologize because I went now I went too far again. Okay, I can get what I need by sitting at the peg and opening up what the peg is. Click on it. There's all my information. All I got to do is slide down and find the information and make the phone call. It's 640 North Atlantic. Remember what I said? I'm just simply going to go to the snippet tool. Oh, stop it. Got a snippet. New. I'm going to steal this information right here. And then save it. I want, the, I want the address. I'm just showing you how to do it. I want the address. Then I'm going to send that an email with all that information on an email to me saying this is a building, this is the manager's name, that, that kind of information. Now that I've found it, I've got the information, I've got the manager's name, you're going to give that to somebody who can do the sale, and you'll get a percentage of whatever we profit, our business profits on that, that deal, you'll get a 6% percent of it. It's that simple. It, uh, the problem is... It's hugely time consuming, and that's our problem at this time. Go ahead. How do I get to your ARMC again, your your portfolio? Arc contracting, right there. Yeah. Everybody write okay. that down. All you got to do right now is you can do the same thing. You can snip it right on your right on your computer. You can copy that right now. Besides 25 units, is there any other criteria you're looking for or anything? Yeah, we're looking for, Luke, we're looking for um, anything that is a large building. So. I'm just saying for apartment complexes, we're looking for huge complexes. Can you guys hold on one second? Let me try to fix this other webinar. Don't go away. Please stay one second.
Okay, are you guys still here? Yes, okay, good. I'm sorry, somehow <laughs> I clicked and almost ended the other webinar, uh, which is not our webinar and it's not our side, it's somebody else's, but it's on the, um, I wasn't the only one that did this. I have other guys that are doing it and putting it out there, just like me. They have a bunch of people that work with them like I do. Um, and they're doing a whole different area. And so we're gonna, in a minute, we'll finish up with them and do a whole different type of criteria on houses for them. And it's not something you wanna do because it's not as big money, but you guys have, a, those of you that are on the team, you have a complete contact with me and it makes it a little bit better for you. Uh, if you got this off of Facebook from me, that means you at least know me or my friend because I posted it. So uh, most likely you either know me or you know somebody who knows me. Okay, that's the goal of what we're looking for. Now we found it. We sent the information in, and then we decide, I'll send back, right, okay, you're the one that's on this one, or I'll send it back saying, someone else already turned that in, find another one. But we need the name of the place, the address, do they have damage, what is it, you know, like is it a hotel, is it a, uh, a commercial building, we went by one commercial building today that literally the whole, maybe the left side, let's say it was uh, a half a block long building, and maybe a uh, three quarters of a block deep and the whole roof was in the parking lot and they haven't done anything with it yet because they don't know what to do with it I mean there's you can't believe how many places we've looked at today that are distressed and 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 I got overwhelmed by what we did last week calling and realized I got I got to get help we can cover a much larger criteria we can get a whole lot more people uh, to do this and enact a whole lot more money faster. Um, so I'll do that. But we, we're looking for any type of uh, building that we can buy in these areas, probably a million to two million dollars or higher buildings. Uh, a million probably would be our lowest side we want to go, but anything uh, kind of above that. Multiple complexes that we can turn into living facilities where we actually would have, um, we changed over to elderly, we would buy it out, control it, slowly move all the people out, all the people who have the damage would be moved out, but the rest of the people slowly move them out. And then we would change it over to a gated, uh, controlled community for the elderly, which is called IL, independent living, uh, not assisted living. And then, uh, so that's, that's why we want the complexes, the apartment complexes. All right, somebody else. I want you to ask the questions. I, I really do, don't be embarrassed. If you're embarrassed, then write the questions, and I'll I'll answer them, uh, writing them. I mean, I'll read them. Hey, Gary, it's Melvin. Hey, Melvin, go ahead, buddy. Uh, how soon will this be on the uh, uh, this recording be on the Deal Funders website? Jody, Jody can answer that. I'm recording it. Are you recording it, Jody? We can have it up um, soon. Okay, I, I, I can post it as soon as I'm done here to the page, and then she can post it right away. Is that yeah, as soon as I get it, then I can post it okay. within minutes. Okay, so I will I will uh, send it to, uh, once it um, downloads here, I will send it straight to Facebook. As soon as you get it on Facebook, I'll, it, as soon as it contacts me, I'll let you know, and then you can put it. So it could be up tonight or tomorrow morning. All right. Okay, After, I just wanted yeah, we'll try I'll to have to watch it a couple of times to process everything. Yeah, it, is, it is a lot, but if you'll just go through the steps and go one by one, I think you'll you'll see that it's just a simple process of finding a building. You can go right down the street, and I, I know most of you know this, but let's just do it. Um, let's take this guy here, and let's put them right on this puppy right there. Now I'm going to get the street view of that building, and there it is. I went a little far. I'm not quite on the street, but there's the building right there. And let's see if I can get him to come this way. Oh, I might be inside the building. I'm in the bathroom. My bad. So there's an easy way just to go through and come around here. Now I'm looking at the building from the street. So you, there's plenty of ways that you can get information. If you're trying to send me this building right here, and you've sent me the information, you got the address, you're going to snip it, new, you've got a good picture of it, 
Boom. You're done. File, save it to your desktop, turn around and email it to me with all the information. It just gives me an idea because this is a flat roof. This is not a, a pitched roof. I, you don't have to know that stuff. I, I don't even need you to know that. Your job is to find the properties that are damaged and get me that information. So now if you're on the street and just want to move down, you say, well, I, I don't see some of the properties. Then we just move down the street. And I just looked at this one right here today, so let me get down there. This is as if you were driving to Florida. I, I drove this road today, but why drive the road if you can drive it on this uh, on this um, on your computer and not leave your house? It's silly. That lot's still vacant, by the way, right there. This roof, this roof here on that far side, the tile is gone. Not this side, but the other side it faces the ocean. There is no tile left on this roof. So I just went there today. All right, so now I think it's called the Shores. Oh no, this is Ocean, this is Ocean Beach Club. I don't want this one, I went too far. I can't read it. Just got to get to where you can read the sign. And now you get what, what the address is. You find out what it is from the peg. You can go back to the maps and find out what that what that property is. Um, I can touch it right here. Usually it'll tell you. Plaza Resort and Spa. So I, I can get the address and everything usually right off of the, the map of, of what it is. I keep putting that person in the room. Got to stop that. Got to keep them out of here. There we go. So it's just going to take a little work on your part, and it's going to be hard at first, but then it's going to get easier and easier and easier because you're going to understand what you're looking for. A lot of these places you can just go. There's there's a sign. So for me, I've got everything I need right over there, the plaza. And then I go over here and just search what that is, type in the plaza in um, Daytona Beach, and I'm going to come up with the address, the information, everything I need. Then I'm going to call them and say, I'm calling from uh, Art Contracting. I'm just calling to see if you guys have any um, damage. We, we do uh, roofing, and we want to see if you guys have any damage to your property. Who would I talk to, a manager, whoever? And they say, oh, the manager's here, but you can't talk to him now. Oh, what's his name? Joe Johnson. Okay. Thank you very much. Now you're going to send the plaza, the address, the information. There is damage. Manager Joe Johnson. You're going to send that to me. And then we put somebody on it that has the ability to call. And what we're doing is we're having everybody on the team that wants to try to do this go and find these properties. Just as you search for other properties, you're just getting a little bit less cut because it's a much bigger deal and we have more people to pay and we're not buying something that's running. So it just gives you opportunity to make some money. You may you might give 50 properties and we don't get any of them. It's bidding just like everything else. But the idea is for us to get into something like the plaza here and have an opportunity that is it viable for an assisted living? Is it viable for independent living? What is it viable for and how do we how do we use that? And that's what we're trying to do to get in. Anybody else have a question? Ask a question. Anyone? Nick's having a hard time getting on for some reason. Somebody else. It's the search, the find, and then turn over what we're doing. We have uh, a couple people set up to run different projects that we need. We have a lady that can help me with the uh, financing side and keep track of everybody on the projects themselves. We have been setting up now for about uh, maybe two days after the hurricane to get to this point. Uh, Jesse and Dan and three other guys have been down here. Um, going over like crazy, and I've been working on raising money to try to get to where we need to be. So, um, will it work? Don't know. I can't answer that yet. If you're willing to go and do it with me, then let's do it. Um, I was looking at how fast I could get into assisted living on a bunch of things uh, the past maybe month and a half, and uh, now I'm looking at the possibility to have anywhere from 70 to $100 million worth of assisted living material properties in no time at all. And it's gonna exponentially totally change and rock our assisted living world for our group. I can't believe. Even if, if I own 5% of 50 of them, it'd be great. Go ahead, Luke. 
Is there an amount of damage or a, a minimum damage that you're looking for? Because of course, if you're trying to buy them or or do the work at seventy percent. I mean, is, is there a way that you want us to evaluate so we're not sending you stuff that would waste your time? Um, I don't think if we call and take you know after you get me the information, if we call and take five minutes on the phone, I can probably me Jesse or we have seven salesmen. One of us can probably get to the information quicker and weed it out than you could. And you might scare them off from knowing, you know what I mean? It might be better if you just stick to, do you have damage? That's great. Do you mind if I have one of our guys call you and just tell, talk to you about what we do and how we can help on the insurance side, hopefully save you some money, and we can work together to make sure that you get everything completely renovated the way it's supposed to be. You know, the idea is just get the manager's name and then have a salesman that this is all he does is sell, handle that side. That makes sense? That's why yes, I don't you. think it'll be a real waste of time, honestly. I, I think we'll be able to weed them out faster and take us five minutes on the phone than it would for you guys to try to do that and then not knowing what to say. It's pretty easy to call the plaza and say, can I talk to the manager? No, the manager's not in there. Okay, can I just get the manager's name? Oh, great, thank you. And then now let's give it to somebody who knows how to call and what to do. You know, and it's and it's our profit that you're getting a percentage of. You're not getting a percentage of all the repairs and all the things. You're getting a percentage of the profit side, no matter what that is, from the repairs to the purchase of the building to any of that, uh, of our profit. So maybe on this building here, we got this building for $15 million, but our profit's only one, our, our, our portion's only 1.5 million, and that turns out to be 700,000. Now you're getting a portion of our 700,000. If it turns out to be seventy thousand, you're getting a portion of our seventy thousand. So you know, six percent is a pretty. When you come to large money, six percent is a good hit. It's a huge hit. Anybody else? Good questions. Hold on. I'm gonna go to his over here and see what it is. No, Cass. It doesn't matter how many floors. Thank you for asking. Um, matter of fact, the bigger, the better. Uh, especially for independent living down on the beach in any one of these towns all the way down to Miami. Independent living would be great. Here, here's, let me explain what's happening, everybody, so you know. There are a lot of little 6, 10, 12 people houses. And through this storm, they couldn't keep up the electric. And they're changing the laws because of that. And there'll be a lot of these houses that go out. I want to say there's 2,000 or 3,000 of them. If there's six people in there, in the house, some, some have 10, but let's say six, uh, six people in there and there's 2,000 homes, you got 12,000 people that need to be placed tomorrow. That's number one. Number two, there's three or four of the largest um, independent living buildings that have been destroyed. Now they are gonna build back but they're gonna build back in about three to five years if they have the right kind of insurance and if everything is negotiated. The problem is they're not gonna have all their clientele. So where are those 140 people on 10, 12 buildings across Florida gonna go? There's gonna be a serious need of simple fixes of the top two floors, turn this into an independent living, open it up and let people come live there. Quick play for about two or three years, turn around, fill it up and sell it to a REIT. Let the REIT worry about it after. So we're not looking for a long-term play on most of these, it's just a short play. Like I said, it won't be us necessarily. We won't even probably own the property. We'll just have rights to the property. It's kind of like I've taught you guys on, if you're going to do um, an assignment, you better have a really, really, really good contract. That's what we're doing. We're setting up good contracts, getting them written, and then assigning these over to these people with 10 million, 12 million, 50 million dollars. We in turn get a percentage of that deal. So anybody else? Either either webinar. All right, everybody, we're gonna get off here. Everybody on the uh, secondary webinar. If you're not on the team webinar uh, that was brought out by Jody and myself, uh, and you're with uh, Dave, if you'll be patient, we're gonna come right back and talk to you guys about houses in your area uh, and how we would want to um, look at those houses. Um, and then my team, I'll be sending you guys out more information. Um, on some things we're going to look at at comping properties uh, when we get ready to do that. All right, everybody have a great, great evening. And uh, if you got uh, any more questions, you can email me.
I'm going to be very busy for the next three days. I apologize, but um, if you have questions, uh, you can pick up the phone and call me. If I an if I can answer, I will answer. Otherwise, email me and I'll I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Or text me. The text me is the best for the next two days. Text all you want to because I can under the table or wherever I'm at uh, send a text. All right, everybody. God bless and good night. We'll try to get this on the recording so you can go over it a couple of times. Thanks, you guys. Bye bye.